Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am humbled to be part of this great conversation that is seeking solutions for the pressing society of problems we face through financial technology. This will go a long way in promoting a sustainable future. As a way of introduction, KCB Group is East Africa's biggest bank with a presence in Kenya, Tanzania, South Sudan, Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, and a rep office in Ethiopia. For the over 20 years, we have been at the forefront of driving the region's economic agenda. From a business perspective, our focus has always been driving business goals with a view of changing the lives of communities. This has more importantly been made possible by FinTech, a subject that is close to our hearts. For the past three years, we have made significant investments in technology channeled towards the development and implementation of our FinTech platform, FUMA. Ladies and gentlemen, technology has had a huge impact on the communities globally. By supporting the financial inclusion agenda with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, technology has come in to keep this agenda going, despite the disruptions in the way of life. Allow me to share a few insights into the banks playing in rolling out initiatives with social impact, especially on sustainability and green finance, in line with our conviction that business is no longer just about profits, but about driving initiatives which will uplift the lives of communities. First, KCB has embedded an environmental agenda to its strategy to address concerns of climate change and negative impacts arising from business operations. We recognize that we impact the natural environment directly in our operations and indirectly through the activities of our stakeholders, such as customers, suppliers, and staff, among others. Secondly, we've rolled out various initiatives to promote environmental sustainability through internal engagements and external partnerships and communities. In 2019, KCB Group joined 28 other global banks in developing and signing the United Nations Environmental Program Finance Initiative, uh, which is NF, uh, UNEP 5, six principles of responsible banking. The principles set the global standard on what it means to be a responsible bank and will ensure that banks create value for both their shareholders and society. In addition, the bank has also put in place several frameworks, including the KCB Green Agenda, Social and Environment Management System, uh, SEMS, while adopting nine Sustainable Dev Development Goals, the SDGs. Thirdly, KCB remains focused on developing our support to the SME sector, noting that they are the core on which Kenyan economy runs. This year, KCB received an approval for $150 million from the IFC and as the lead syndicator to support the growth of the bank's sustainable climate finance portfolio and scale up lending to micro, small and medium enterprises and women-owned businesses. Lastly, in yet another milestone in the push for sustainable finance, KCB Bank Kenya has, was last week accredited by the Green Climate Fund, paving way for the bank to receive funds from the Green Climate Fund accreditation for own lending to beneficial institutions involved in climate change projects. In Kenya, GCF is a global fund created to support the efforts of developing countries to respond to the challenge of climate change and to develop, help limit, reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. We were created under the medium to large private sector category, therefore capable of fronting projects of between $50 million to $250 million. As I conclude, the COVID-19 pandemic and resulting containment measures caused an economic contraction. Among the many adverse effects in the global economy, the crisis is posed a threat, a deep threat to financial inclusion efforts globally. To support customers in dealing with this economic impact, this pandemic has had banks have stepped in to restructure loans for customers. Uh, at KCB, we restructured loans worth 1.05 billion. Banks continue to encourage use of cashless and contactless modes of payment to reduce the risk of the virus spread, thus creating new opportunities for potential adoption of digital finance. Allow me to thank the Central Bank of Kenya, Governor Dr. Patrick Jiroge for facilitating this festival to drive the conversations we are having today. I urge us to put in deliberate efforts in adopting technology to harness the potential that the nations hold. Thank you.